Okay, so we got 100 microfarad capacitor, like 10 volts. Let's go ahead and test using the ESR meter. Here's 100, and so we should be anywhere in here. So this is the area we're looking for. And we are not getting anything. This thing is done. Just making sure that the ESR meter leads are good. Let's go ahead and test with the capacitance test. There we go. So 3.3 microfarads. So obviously that is completely done and it does show on both the ESR meter and a capacitance check that it's way out of bounds. 22, you know, look for the point because sometimes that point is, is difficult to see, but that's 22 microfarads. That's like that's 16 volts. Yep, 16 volts, okay. So let's go ahead and test it. Also not showing up. Just not showing up, so it's over 30 ohms as well. Let's see what it what's what it's at. Ooh, 18.6 micro microfarads. So if there's a 20% cap, it could be 17.6 microfarads and still be in spec so this capacitor is actually testing good on the microfarad reading um, but it's totally defective showing on the esr meter it's, it's just two different ways of testing and i found that the esr meter is by far the better uh, and more reliable uh, tester for electrolytic capacitors.